Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the season four finale. I am your host today, Matt, the franchise. Yes, welcome to today's fabulous season finale here. Um, as you guys know, uh, well, both my uh, crazy co-hosts are uh, unavailable tonight, so it's going to be just me hosting the show tonight. Unless, they, unless one of them is so graciously watching and hopefully decides to tune in and realizes I need help! I hope. One can only hope, though. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Who wants to see a whole hour of just me on the show? I mean, come on. <laughs> right? No? Well, look who decided to show up. Go ahead and come on in. Hi, Emma. Hi. Come to the closet. The camera you, can't see me. There you go. Now the camera can see you. Hello. Yes. Emma was Can able to... I put to my phone in my pocket. So I guess you came to help me save the show today, today huh? Yep. Thank goodness. I mean, like, who would want to see a whole hour of just you? I mean, really now. Be real. Who wouldn't want to watch a whole episode with just me? Nobody asked you. You're co-host now. I am co-host now. Yeah. Yes, your arguments are invalid now. Why does that make my argument invalid? If anything, I think it would make it more valid since I've been promoted. You know what? I am sick and tired of your sass, and I think with my newly promoted position, I think I have the ability to fire you. I have power over you. Oh, yeah? 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 Who signs your paychecks every week? I don't get a paycheck every week. Yeah, you do. I get a paperclip and some gum. Exactly! That's your paycheck! You don't sign a paperclip or bubble gum. Yeah, I do. So I've got... I've been putting pen ink into my mouth when I'm chewing my bubble gum. Yes. Ew. That's why it has that weird aftertaste. So that's why I've been feeling dizzy recently. It's the ink poisoning. Probably. We might need to get you some help. Yeah. Thanks for that. Oh, what? 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 How was I supposed to know? Yes, Cap. Yes, and for those who don't know, yes. Okay, so first off, this episode is actually going to be enabling the chat room. We will still be answering questions later on tonight. We'll be getting to that here in a little bit later on. We thought we'd give you a treat because it's the last episode. Yay! Yeah, let's let's hope not everybody will ruin it. Nobody will ruin it this time around. But anyways, that was miserable. Don't yeah. do that again, please. Don't smoke Crayolas. That's what happens. Yes. In other news, I'm just, we are. But anyways, yeah, Slappy is not here, as we all know. Who cares anyway? Well, for those who missed last week's episode, he kind of bailed on us right at the end of the show. Hey, I say that it's better off without him. Yeah. That means we can um, we can entertain a younger audience now. Yeah, he's not going to be pressing his dumb Google Plus and his old person songs and yes. all that other stuff he did. Hey, I'm not that old either, so come on, don't do no, that. No, I was, I was saying that oh, he, him, my bad. I'm he sorry. initiated all the old stuff, and he is an old fart. <laughs> Fart. <laughs> Fart. <laughs> oh, this show has gone to the toilet. That's I see what you did. did. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if my sister's watching tonight's episode, but as promised, I'm wearing the shirt you got me for my birthday. It's an Astro shirt. It's got grass on it. No, it's actually the colors of their mascot. Orbit. Is their mascot? It's an Orbit. It's Orbit jersey. Is their mascot made out of? Um, He's an alien. Look, hold on. Let me let me show the back here. The back shows the character Orbit. Oh, he's a grasshopper. No, he's an alien. He's supposed to be an alien. The name Orbit. I don't get it. So um, he's named after a gum. No, Orbit. Yeah. Did no. You clean it up. <laughs> it took me a second there, but I see what you did there. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But yes, thank you, sister. I love it, and thank you. I appreciate it. He loves it, and he loves you. Exactly. So, in preparation for this week's episode, I have not one, 
not two, but three fails of the week. That's not five. No. I had five, actually, initially, but uh, um, two of them went missing. I couldn't find them. Oh. So I decided to pull out Shame one. Shame on you. Okay. Well, anyways, we'll go ahead and get to our fail of the week here in just a moment. Here, I just got to readjust a couple things. You know, you know, sorry. You know, sorry. He's got to be nerdy and readjust his browser windows. Oh, stop it. Hey, hey. Let me know that now. There'll be all of that now. Yes, I see also our buddy Jaden's watching tonight. Hi, Jaden. Hello, friend. For those who don't know, of course, a couple weeks ago we did wear our hats, our warrior hats, in honor of our buddy Jaden. I still got mine over here. I left mine at home. That's all right. Well, I didn't tell y'all to wear them this week, but I got mine on to show You say y'all as if there's more than one of me, but it's just me. Oh, yeah, now it's only... I keep forgetting that Slappy's fired. Why do you care? I don't know. Anyways, in other news, our friend Jaden has finally has finally gotten out of surgery and he's doing well. And we're glad to see that, you know, hopefully he'll be he's on the road to recovery yes. now. And of course, congratulations we do send, for surviving surgery because I know that that's not fun. No, it's not. I got my wisdom teeth removed and that was not fun, so I can't even imagine what you've had to go through. Much respect, my friend. Yes. I've had my wisdom teeth removed too. That was not fun. No, it wasn't. A couple days later, a shard of I was tooth came out of my gum, and that was lovely. TMI. Hey, I'm just saying. Well, anyways, I was, yeah, I was pretty, I remember I was pretty drugged up. I was pretty doped up. I couldn't even think. My emotions were a little out of whack that day. That's all I remember. Oh, and I've got this story. So, um... Right after I got out of surgery, I went home and laid down on the couch, and my parents went out to run a couple errands. And no! I'm telling oh. a story. I'm sorry. So they were supposed to give me the hydrocodone about an hour later. So, you know, as to make sure my pain didn't go, like, through the roof. And they were out of the house for more than an hour. So when they came back... I was, I was in immense amounts of pain, and they were like, okay, what's your pain level out of 10? And I was like, 20? 10, 11, I don't know. Like, that was the most miserable I've ever felt. And oh I don't even goodness. remember it because I was so drugged up. I mean, I vaguely remember it, but I just don't. It's, it's all fuzzy. Yes. Yes. Oh, he's back home. Yeah, he just uh, Jaden, Jaden posted. Yeah, he did tell me he was going to be back. I didn't know if he was officially going to be back or not, but yes. glad to hear you're doing well, my friend. Best of luck to you. Hospitals All right, so let's so let, let's go ahead and roll into the first fail of the week. Dun, 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 dun. I like that. Awesome. All right, we should have done that more often throughout the episodes. Yeah. Why didn't we? I don't know. That was your job. My job? What was it my job? Because I said. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> oh, I'm a sham. <laughs> I got that reference, actually. <laughs> nice. I couldn't even fly out a window. Years of Academy training. Training wasted. <laughs> When does it become a Disney reference? I don't know. But that's actually a good movie, though. Always. I love Toy Story. Toy Story is love. Toy Story is life. Yes. Shrek is overrated. Now it's Toy Story. I just created a new meme. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Well, let's roll on to our first fail of the week. Do you remember Shrek is love? Shrek is life. I do not. Ooh. Something tells me I missed something there, huh? <laughs> what? It's just a funny meme. I'm I'm terrified now to go. You should look. be. It's terrifying. <laughs> the professionals I deal with on a on a weekly basis, or should I say, professional. Oh. Okay. All right, fail of the week. Now that I have successfully wasted about five minutes of our time. That's fine. That's because yeah, I, we didn't actually plan too much this week's episode, but that's okay. This is just supposed to be the wrap up episode. Winter of wrap course. up. Winter wrap up. 
Let's mm -hmm. finish our holiday mm -hmm. cheer when to wrap up, when to wrap up, because mm -hmm. tomorrow spring mm -hmm. is here. <laughs> Just don't sing anymore because we have to pay royalties after that. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> for the record, we did not just do that. That did not just happen. No, no. Anyways, oh, I see myself bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Yeah. So this was this week's Fell of the Week. This one I found online. I found this kind of funny. Some people might think it's kind of mean, but I don't care. <laughs> Celebrity makeovers. She looked better in the before picture. <laughs> How many people out there agree with this one? That is so mean. Oh I'm my sorry. Gosh. I am not a fan of Honey Boo Boo, so um, yeah, I saw this one and it was just too perfect. You know, I'm not really a fan of Honey Boo Boo. I'm just not into the whole pageant thing. But the good thing is, is that she, Mama June treats her kids with respect because she could her, be a lot worse i gotta agree with you on that especially since i've seen the way some pageant moms treat their kids uh, it drives me off the wall it makes me wonder how do these people even get on tv yeah it's like it's crazy it's like how, how do they let their kids do that on a deal on you know whenever they do the show or whenever they do the pageants how hard they push their kids sometimes i mean sometimes i think as young as they are it's almost a little bit overkill it is really overkill but yes, this is this week's first fail of the week. The other two we'll kind of sporadically do throughout the episode. But yeah. We're back. Yes, we are back. Hi. Hi. Yes. Can you tell we have not planned anything? Yeah, exactly. But that's what makes these episodes much more fun. I mean, the ones I did with, with our former co-hosts um, were all ad-lib too. That is true. And ad lib, and that also rhymes with mad libs, <gasps> which we'll do those later too. Uh, okay. Anyways, uh, we're gonna get on to uh, talk about a couple things here. I know, uh, I know, I'm pretty sure at this point everybody and their mama has heard of that game Five Nights at Freddy's at this point. The there game, is some the sad game news. that I loathe of. I love it, but I. The funny thing is, I still haven't played it. I I've really seen enough. To. I've seen enough how to plays of it that I'm like, I don't need to. I don't need to play it. See, I've watched them so many times that watching it doesn't affect me anymore. It's kind of sad. Is there anybody there? Nope. I didn't think so. <laughs> but that's okay. No, but like, I just like watching. I like watching Markiplier and PewDiePie and stuff, and I'll rewatch their videos a lot. So I just have gotten to the point where it's just like, okay, this doesn't phase me anymore. But I'm sure if I played the game myself, it probably would. Yeah, if you watch the videos, you know when the when the, the exactly. cues are going to scare somebody. Exactly. So, uh, so yeah, apparently there is a sequel in the works to that game. Yes, Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So far, there has only been a little bit of information about that. and God help us. Basically, the character Freddy, the main one, has gotten a few revamps, as demonstrated by the first graphic that was released. So he well, that wasn't even what, that wasn't even Freddy, wasn't it? It was another. It was the no, 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 no. That was the right? second one that was released. Oh, what? There's another so, one. So yeah, yeah. Freddy has got he's got these dapper buttons and also a few cosmetic changes. So okay, I if mean, he, come, really if he comes stuff, out with a red and yellow vest. <laughs> that might be a little too much. Yeah, that might be pushing it, but... Copyright infringement much? Nah. It's creative no. license. Hmm. Whatever. Yes. But, um... But yes, so, it, he's got a couple revamps, and it's implied that they have indeed given the character some updates. And in the second graphic, <clears throat> it was revealing that the character Bonnie Bunny is axed. And they have replaced him with another female bunny. A blue bunny instead is that of a gonna, blue one. Is that, so they're getting rid of that character completely then, huh? Apparently. and Or is that just supposed to be Bonnie Bunny revamped? See, Have I... They said? I really don't know, but, I mean... I... I don't... I don't know if the original Bonnie was a male or a female, but... Because the, you never you never hear the characters' voices, yeah, don't no, you? No. You just see them on stage just moving around like the cyberamics. Yeah, I mean, like, you see, um, 
you see that and then you go on Tumblr and then you hear the fan footage, but I keep forgetting that, you know, that's not how the characters actually are. That's just fan interpretation. I don't know if you've ever seen this or not, but if you actually go on Google Maps, uh -huh. there is some, I don't know if this is legitimate or not, but I don't think it is. But if you go on Google Maps and you type in Freddy Fazbear's, whatever the middle name is, pizza, there apparently is a Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Road trip! No. I'm going. I'd rather go to Wichita Falls, Chuck E. Cheese, than go to there. Is that, like, bad? It's a three-stage location. It's actually pretty awesome. So you'd rather go to an awesome place than an awesome place? Yes, exactly. Okay. Matthew Logic. Yeah. So... Basically, we don't know if this is a new Bonnie or not. We don't know if Bonnie has been deactivated or not, but this new character is clearly female. Yeah, judging Either by... Either that or a drag queen, because it has copious amounts of makeup and long eyelashes. But yeah, like, the first graphic that was released was of Freddy, and it That's was... That's where he's holding his hat, right, or something like yeah, that? Yeah, 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 Okay, I have and seen that And it was like, Freddy okay. 2 coming in 2015 or whatever. And, um, we haven't heard anything about Chica yet, except that apparently in game footage, you can go into the back room and Freddy, or not Freddy, Chica and Bonnie are deactivated in the back room, the original Bonnie and Chica. And that's kind of sad. Well, let's see. I mean, I'm very curious to see where they're going to take this game going forward. Yeah, because I saw someone on Tumblr suggest that it might be concept unification. So I'm very curious to see if that's what they're trying to parody or what. I was thinking either concept unification or maybe Studio C in the show. No, but like... That if, was my thought. If they have more than one character, it can't be Studio C because they have Freddy and the bunny, so... Well, this will be this will be a very interesting twist on this game because yeah. because ju just when you honestly just when I thought they could never actually do anything else with that with that game yeah I, I mean, thought you know, I thought I was it like, was just gonna be a one time thing I didn't think they were gonna do anything but I mean it's just like with the original Don't Hug Me I'm Scared we never thought that that would come out with a sequel but um, according to insiders in the new game you can actually move about the store. You still use your cameras to make sure you don't actually run into animatronics, but you can actually walk around the restaurant, which is really cool. Honestly, anytime I've ever watched gameplay for that game, I have always had my headphones on off. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm legit. I'm seriously legit because every time I see somebody playing, then all of a sudden that fox with the hook comes out. And Foxy, oh no. Scares the living daylights. See, I'm not really afraid of Foxy as much as I am Freddy when the power goes out. Uh -uh. Foxy's the scariest, or at least to me, really? in my opinion, he looks like the scariest whenever he comes. Between him and the bird. Chica? Chica, yes. Yeah. Between those two, whenever I see them come up to me, I'm more terrified of them than I would be of Freddy or the uh, bunny thing, Bonnie. Yeah. I'm really, I just don't like, Bonnie for one, because Bonnie does a lot, a lot of jump scares. Like when you take your tablet down, he's right there in your face. And then Freddy, he goes up and goes woo, 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 whenever the power goes out. So that's scary. And if you have watched the Smosh Games playthrough of that. Wait, there's a Smosh playthrough? Oh. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Hit some for later. <laughs> My bad. Uh, pretend you didn't see that. If you watch the Smosh Games playthrough of Five Nights at Freddy's, Ian Hecox, one of the original Smosh dudes, yes. he actually worked at Chuck E. Cheese at one point. So oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. He talks about his experiences there, and he pointed out there that there is indeed no night guards at actual Chuck E. Cheese's, but um, he said that it was really creepy whenever the lights would go out at night when they were closing, and you saw the characters just standing there staring. It never bothered and, me, honestly. I mean, there were several nights yeah. that I had to work there. I mean, there were several, I mean, when I used to work out in the locations and stuff, I remember it never really bothered me. I don't know, <coughs> but maybe because I don't have as much of an imagination as some people, but I just don't... See, it kind of bothered me just because you're so used to them animated that when they're still, it just seems really creepy. Like, I know that the random movements are almost like they're still, but at least there's some movement there. It's like when they would actually use the curtains and then you would pull back the curtains as a little kid. And, and they then, would be still and they'd be like... Yeah, you'd be afraid that it would jump up at you. Like, oh my gosh. I was so scared this one time because we were at the Chuck E. Cheese near our house and they still used the curtains back then. So, 
I was curious what Chucky was doing back there because back then I was like, okay, Chucky's still real. <laughs> so. And that's. Uh, that yeah. which is the case. Chucky is indeed very very real. But you know, some people believe that he's not. <laughs> which brings me to my next question or my next thing. Somebody had actually, because I'm sure as you guys know, I was asking for questions for you guys to ask throughout the episode. So, I'm going to go ahead and ask... I wasn't finished with my story. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So, uh, there Chucky is by the ticket counter. So, it was one thing because I was super scared that one of the employees was going to yell at me. And then another thing because I was afraid of how Chucky would react. So, I pull back the curtains and see him just staring down like, what are you doing opening the curtains? And I freak out, and I run all the way back to the game room. I was like, nope. <laughs> Whatever! <laughs> Ow! I didn't even hit you that hard. It actually did kind of hurt. Huh. You deserve a raise. Here, have a candy. Yay, I get candy! I don't know if this is a good idea, but... It might bring out old school Emma. I got candy. It's a shock tart. Watch out. Obviously, I can handle these. First time I ever had one of these, I was at the roller rink with Matt. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and tell this story. <laughs> he gave one to me, but he didn't tell me what it was. So I thought it was just like a sweet tart or something. And I made the stupidest sour face. I was like... <laughs> so, I really wish I was filming you when I gave you that. So that uh, in return, we gave one to my brother without him knowing what it was, and that was funny to see. Yes, that was. That was pretty hilarious. Oh my god. That was a fun day. Yes, it was. We need to go roller skating again soon. That was fun. Yeah, we have this roller skate place by my house that's like this really old school roller skate it's ring. It's so unbelievably old school. I love it. Yeah, it's very, very old school. And then it has this random Chuck E. Cheese ride in it, too, so that's very cool. Yep, the whole reason I went there in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Chuck E. But, uh, Circus. That's right, the Chuck E. Cheese ride. Um, what was I going to say? Um, 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 Oh, yeah. Hi, Mrs. Bagwell. Oh, is that? Oh, uh, Karen. Yeah. Hi, Karen. Hi, Matt. That means Matt's watching, too. Hi, Matt. We know too many Matts. We know a lot of Matts. Yeah, we've got this one, we've got Matt Daniel, we've got um, Matt, Jones. Matt Jones, and then we've got my cousin Matt. There's just too many Matts in my life. You I need to that, start like, eliminating them. Don't uh, worry, I'll keep you. I was going to say, because there's no way we could do the show without without the host. Hey, I mean, I could hold it up, but... And Could then there's a Matthew at my school. All right, you know what? That's fine. I Wait. will let you. I will let you run your own little segment here for right now. Okay, Emma's corner. Yes. Go ahead and go into Emma's corner. Then in a little bit, I think Mr. Bacon should be here in a little bit. Okay. Which that was the glitch you guys saw earlier. It was one of his pictures from his trip. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, my bad. <laughs> so, do y'all remember the Disney game Toontown? It was, I don't. Nobody asked you. So it I'm was your audience. Sorry, go ahead. It was this Disney game that started in the early 2000s and it was really really popular. It was one of Disney's first multiplayer online game, massive multiplayer online game or whatever they call it. And you basically make your little character like you can have a bunny or a dog or a cat or a pig or a horse or whatever. And then you go around defeating the bad guys, which are called the Cogs, which are trying to take all the happiness out of the world. And last year, Disney decided to shut down Toontown in favor of Club Penguin, which is a really bad call because I really don't like... I don't like how Club Penguin is handled because there are just a lot of rude people on there, and Toontown was always a really positive community. But, um... Trolls. Indeed. But, um... <laughs> we... We in the Toontown community would call Disney the Cogs because they decided to shut down a place dedicated to happiness, which is exactly what the Cogs were doing in the game. So, recently, well, I say recently, last year after Toontown closed, these group of 
dudes in high school and college got together and they had bits and pieces of the game files from the original Toontown. So they decided to use these files and rebuild Toontown or rewrite it. So now, just a couple weeks ago, Toontown Rewritten opened to the public for open beta. Let me guess, you were the first member, weren't you? I wasn't the first member, but I was on there pretty quickly once I heard that it opened, because I had been waiting an entire year for it. And it's really funny, because open beta testing, it aired on the same day that the original Toontown closed. Oh, the irony! It wasn't an irony, it was poetic justice. That too. So, I've got my tune back, and... It's just amazing to be able to play this game again because yeah, it was part of my childhood because I started Toontown, it was a rainy day with my best friend Willow and we were inside, we didn't know what to do, so we were like, okay, let's go see what this Toontown thing is about because I had seen it with another friend. So we went and we got her an account and we made our first tunes, hers was Violet the Cat and then mine was Aunt Lily Sparkle Brains. And we had that tune on that account until Toontown closed. And then a couple years later I got my own account and I had my tune Little Petal Bounce, which is the tune that I had until Toontown closed and the one that I have remade. So yeah, I mean I'm just really, really excited to have this game back. So Props to the Toontown Rewritten Creators. I love you so, so, so much, and you've made me and my best friend be able to play the game that we spent our childhoods on. So thank you. What about thanking me? Well, what did you do? I do a lot of things. Well, yeah, but did you help rewrite this game? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah? I had a little bit of spice to it. Oh, See yeah? See what I did there? <laughs> Bacon is not a spice. But it spices things up whenever you put it on something. Not really. Yes, it does. I mean, maybe cumin does and maybe, you know, pepper, but not bacon. Bacon is not a spice. Bacon can spice anything up. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Really, really, really? Yes, really. Ha, 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 ha. All right. So let's go ahead and get to my bit because apparently one of you guys accidentally slipped and showed one of my pictures. Matt dropped the shockers on the keyboard. Ah, don't blame it on him. It was probably your fault. What? Why was it my fault? Yes, that's right. It was your fault. I didn't do anything. I was sitting here minding my own business. Oh, you don't say now. I do say, actually. Oh, jeez. Anyways, don't I have a little trip I need to talk about, too? You want to join me? Sure. Hi, guys. Mr. Bacon here. And I'm sure as you guys have been wow, seeing... Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm trying to segue to the next segment. Oh, these crazy people. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and talk about my adventures here. As most of y'all know, I just got back from my trip from Galveston. Boring. Nobody asked you. Anyways, I want to share some of my pictures from there. Hang on one second here. I got to find this stupid thing here. Where is it? Hey, what's going on there, guys? Um, Bacon's having some technical difficulties, I guess. Oh, is he now? Hold on, let me see if I can fix it here for you. All right, here we, there we go. Yep, this is there, one of my pictures here when I was on the seawall. And I look all fancy and stuff out here with, you know, with the nice I'm little shiny. so fancy, you already know. Okay, uh, I'm done. Yeah, anyways. So uh, that was one of the places we went to out there in Galveston. And then, of course, this was the beautiful view from my luxury suite that I was in. I don't, like, I don't like the beach at Galveston. Why is that? Because it's all yucky. I went there, like, only a little while after the oil spill, and it was still really gross. Well, this is, uh, well, a little bit after that. No, you know, it's been years after that. You know, but... It, it's still nasty. There's all that built-up seaweed. Who doesn't love them some seaweed? Well, I don't know. I guess bacon or tofu wouldn't because you know he gets eaten with seaweed, doesn't he? 
Ew. Maybe I should get some seaweed and put him in there. <laughs> Maybe that would get him to shut up for once. Maybe that would. That'd be hilarious. Nice. Oh, and I still also have one more picture here. Let me find it here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on here. Ah, here it is. When they also got to give me some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. Yummy. Yes, who doesn't love them some Ben and Jerry ice cream? Well, I personally think Bluebell is better, but, you know, to each his own. Yes, that is true. I mean, yeah, Bluebell is kind of better. You got to remember. I'm Texas from... Pride. Yeah, exactly. Bluebell. We are from Texas. Yeehaw. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Is we this are... what I think it is? It probably is. It probably is. Oh. We represent Texas. That's right. Yes. We represent Texas. You crazy High people. High five me. Yeah. All right. Nice. Yes. We have a lot of Texas pride around here. Yeehaw. Yeah, exactly. All of us in here are born and raised from Texas. Except one person. The producer. Well, my mom. My mom wasn't raised in Texas. Oh, wasn't she? Mm-mm. She was raised basically everywhere but Texas. Well, she's living here now, right? That counts, doesn't it? I guess, but wouldn't that mean it counts for the producer? Um, uh, no. Because I said it. Oh, yeah? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Yes! Okay. Was our youngest cast member born in Texas? Uh... Yes, they were, as a matter of fact. You're referring to probably the new the new edition. Oh, yes. Which I'm sure franchise is probably going to get here in a second. All right, I'm going to get out of here. See y'all. See y'all next season. Bye, Bacon. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. There's one more thing I need to work on, too. One more important thing. Um, there is a lady out there who um, I've been trying to talk to, and uh, she really has been returning my an or answering my responses. So, uh, Miss Storm, I know you can hear me. If you would like to go out with a tender piece of bacon, I would really appreciate some sort of reply. Tender piece of bacon. Yes, and delicious too. Oh, yeah? Yes. Yeah? All the yes. All the yes. <laughs> You're making the camera go out of focus, man. So what? All right, now. Miss Mary, if you could tell Storm... I would really like to go on a date with her. I would really appreciate it. I mean, I've got all that candy. Who doesn't love candy? You're just trying to bribe her because you're forever alone. Nobody asked you! You crazy. I am crazy. Yes, you are. But that's again, everybody else on the show is. We're gonna Can say I just say something crazy? What? That's not the right line. What is the right line? I love I love crazy. All my life has been a series of doors in my face. And then suddenly I bumped into you. Your turn. Uh, I don't know the lyrics of this song. Fail. Yes, I know. I fail. I gotta go. I'll see you later. Bye. Storm, Storm please get back to me. I'd like to go on a date. Please. <laughs> really please with them. Um, some tofu on top? Yeah. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. See you later. That's definitely not going to get you a date. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Emma? He wants to put tofu on his date or something. Ew. Yeah. That's nasty. Anyways, I forgot to mention also, today is also Take Your Daughter to Work Day. Oh, it is? Yes, it is. Aw. And yes, I've got my precious little daughter with me today. Aww. Yeah, she's going to get some, a little more air time this time around. So again, everybody, say hi to Flopsy. Hi. Apparently she really likes Emma. Yeah, she likes to give kisses. Yes, she does. She's one crazy cute little pup. She is. Now, Flopsy, you're going to say hi. To, look at the camera over there. Look over there. Say hi to everybody. Oh, okay, you want to give me kisses too? Okay. That yes. is cute. Yeah, she is. She's adorable. Yeah? You gonna chew on me? Yes. <laughs> yes, I want to bring my daughter on, on our show today. She's gentle when she play bites. Don't don't encourage it though. I know, I know. 
See, she's still played by it right now. Lopsy, you gotta behave for me, baby. <laughs> this is my daughter, people. <laughs> I'm a proud, I'm a proud father. Yeah. Come here, Flopsy. Now say hi to everybody. Look at everybody on the TV screen. See, see yourself? See yourself on TV? You're an internet star now. She's like, really, really am I She now? has no idea what's going on, probably. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. The baby? Yes, indeed. She looks just so confused. Yes, indeed. <sighs> what a cutie. Yes, indeed. You like saying that, don't you? Yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah. So. Yes, this is... I would have brought my daughter to work today, but unfortunately, um, my little kitty Gabby, we lost her on Friday morning to oh. feline lymphoma leukemia. Oh. So. Emma needs a hug. Yes, I do. Oh. Group hug. Give her a lick. There we go. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. She gave her a lick on cue. That is yes. so perfect. You did a fantastic job, little Flopsikens. She's taking cues just like a pro. She'll be a full-fledged actor someday soon. Yes, she will. She's growing up so fast. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and give her back to the producer here. No, but I want to hold her. You want to hold her? Yeah. All righty. Just be careful with her. Nice, Knuckle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get back into our next bit here, which is fail of the week number two. Look at her. She's so well behaved. Yes. Yes, she loves her Auntie M. Oh. <laughs> Did <laughs> he just bite there. my nose? Be careful. She does have a tendency of doing that. You are silly. We don't want any accidents on the air. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and roll into this week's Fail of the Week. And, of course, um... Give me one second here. Sorry. Just trying to tweak some stuff here. Yes. Let's give her her little play toy. There. She can chew she on that instead. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and give him the, the fail of the week for number two. Now, you know, every day, you know, every day some of us have, you know, not so good days. Sometimes we'll have rough days. And then sometimes we, ha we have little toys that we can play with or stuff like that. But just remember, whenever you're... Oh, is she starting to get a little out of hand there? Yep. Oh, my goodness. She's getting a little silly. You are silly. All right, so whenever you're having a bad day, I always want you to remember to look at this picture right here. Remember, your day can't be as worse as this guy's. What's happening to that guy? I don't get it. Oh, he fell off the... He's falling <laughs> off. He missed the... Oh, he no. He missed the pole. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Oh, yikes. Ouch. That has got to probably hurt. Hang on. She's getting a little squirmy. Hang on. We're, getting, we're giving Flopsy over to the producer. Thank you, producer. Anyways. So, yes. Flopsy is out of uh, Emma's in mine hand now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. She's whenever you're crazy. Yeah, it's okay. I figured she would. But, um, yeah. So, remember if you're having a bad day, just think of this guy. Who's about to probably hit the, the mat right now and just go flat? Ouch! There is nothing flat. that there is nothing that can be more painful than that. Hey, that rhymes. <clears throat> hey, what do you know? High five. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to something else that we normally do on the show. But of course, in order, in order, um, unfortunately, we can't do it with the chat because usually we get delays whenever we do the chat thing. So unfortunately, this will be one that we'll have to miss with. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Emma's going to do this one. But it's time for a Mad Lib. A Mad Lib with... Emma and Franchi Maddie. Emma and Maddie. It's time I for a, a Mad, Mad, Mad Lib. lib. A Mad Lib with Emma and Maddie. A Mad Lib with Emma and Maddie. It just doesn't have mm -hmm. the same ring to it. Yeah. Oh, well. We don't need to worry about that. Nah. Nah. You don't need to worry about that poo-poo head. <laughs> Here. Scoot over a little bit. I'm actually falling off camera. 
Oh no. Go this way! I'm sorry. Here, go actually go a little more that way. A little more. A little more. A little more. Perfect! Awesome. But all you can see is my arm. That's all they need to see. I'm just kidding. Go ahead and come back and back in. Yay! Welcome again. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead. Stop looking at your phone and do the show. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I'm double checking all of our social media, you goober. Oh, yeah? Is that really what you were doing? Yes, actually, I was. Actually. Actually? Actually. Actually. We should make that like every word in this. <laughs> actually, 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 and then... Take a shot every time. Yeah, take a shot. Actually. Ugh. There we go. I'm gonna get drunk off water. I can I can do a, a this kind of shot. No. Inject Sharpie into me. Why would you want to inject Sharpie? You crazy. I don't know. I heard you can get high off Sharpie. Is that true? <laughs> we are a smoke-free environment in this place. No smoking Sharpies and no, no smoking smoke. Crayolas. Don't smoke Crayolas. All right, so Emma, yeah. I, since I know you know all of your. Phrases. I do. I need a noun. Mm. Well, I don't doofus. Think, mm, I don't think mm is a... Shh. Doofus. 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 Doofus for Exceedal Incorporated. Okay. That's doofus shirts. Close enough. Doofus shirts, Evil Incorporated. If you want to be technical, it's doofus schmertz. That's what it was. Okay. Doofus schmertz. With Perry the Platypus. Dr. Doofenshmirtz. All right. I also need an adjective. Smelly. Smelly. All right. All of these things describe sloppy. I kind of figured that. That Maybe. was an aside. You did not. Oh, okay. That was to adjective. the audience. Ugly. Ugly. <laughs> Adverb. Um, idiotically. I can make a popping noise. Okay, a person in the room. Not slappy. <laughs> I see what you did there. Not slappy. Yeah. Better watch it. We don't want to offend not Sally again. Oh, I'm sorry, Sally. And I just totally put s Sally on. Or s <laughs> I totally put a mixed breed of Sally and slappy on what here. I put S A L. I'm sorry, S L A L L Y, but I changed it. Slally. Slally. <laughs> Alright, I need another adjective. Um, short. <laughs> he is pretty short. He is. The um, funny thing is, I'm pretty short. and he, I think I'm actually a couple of inches shorter than him. He's a couple of inches shorter than me. You stop that. This chair makes a poppy sound. I like it. I know, that's why I stopped using it, because I kept doing that. Okay, plural noun. Stupid haircuts. Stupid? No, 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 no. I got a better one. Nugs. <laughs> well, yeah, today is No Nug Tuesday. That was his little campaign that he was doing. Indeed. All right, let's see here. Well, hit the wrong switch. Switch back. And we're, and we're back. Well, we weren't gone. But now. I had one, but it's a bad word that I can't say on the air. I can't say the B word. The B stands for butt. Okay, we'll, we'll go ahead and use that one. Oh. Butts is not a bad word. It is to my mom, remember? Oh, yeah. That's right. Hope but that wasn't a side, so she didn't hear it. Okay, she didn't hear that. Okay, gotcha. Another noun, please. Um, traitor. That's what he is. Okay, and a plural noun. Mm. Eyebrows. I don't know, I just thought of eyebrows. That doesn't really have anything to do with him. He does have big ones, though. <laughs> he does. He, I mean, we've all got eyebrows, so. Yours look funny on camera. 
No, they do not. <laughs> they do so. How? They look like normal eyebrows. They kind of taper off like right here, and you have the rest of them in real life, but the camera doesn't show it. Yeah, I know. It. As a matter of fact, you are correct about that. <laughs> I never noticed that. Now I'm going to be insecure about that. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. I'm sorry. Okay. Another noun? Um, insecurity. I You're, see what you did there. That's a noun, right? Like it can be used as a noun? We'll make it one today. Yeah. Verb. Like, I think that's a noun because, like, you know, you have insecurities. Yes. Okay, so a verb. Um, leave. Leave? Because that's what Slappy did to the show. He left it. You know, Slappy, you could have come back. He could have, but he decided not to. Okay. But we don't care. That's okay. We're doing better without him. I mean, we obviously don't care because we keep mentioning it. We got one less problem without him. We got, we got one, one less, less problem, problem without, without him. him. We got, got one, one less, pro one less problem. I love this song. Yeah. But I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Ever. Lazily. Because that's how he's earning his money. He's being lazy. Yes. Because he's stealing people's studios. Adverb. Instead of working. Um, adverb. That was, okay. Sorry, I got confused as to what an adverb was. I was getting yeah. lost. And we had just done one. I can't believe it myself. Okay, um. Is anybody there? Angrily. Because that's how you're hitting me with the pet. <laughs> Plural now? Um. The way you did that, that reminds me of the way that, have you ever seen the original first Ninja Turtles movie? Uh-uh. It reminded when, when me April, of... When April saw Splinter when she was regaining consciousness, that almost sounded like the lady, the girl's scream. That's what it reminded me of. It reminded me of Boo from Monsters, Inc. Today's just a Disney day. What? 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 Nothing. You stopped that, Matthew David. Whew. She used my middle name. I know I'm in trouble now. Plural now. Mice. Mice. Okay, and I need a verb and an adverb. Um, run adverb. clumsily. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I just actually that brings up another topic we're going to talk about here after we're done with this with this mad. Load. You said Ninja Turtles, and I got the theme song from the Turtles Ninja Turtles. Turtles counting down yeah. one, two, three, four. Turtles. You know it's funny. A lot of people didn't like that series. That was the one that I was aware of originally because that's when my brother watched when he was little. So that I mean that to me I thought that one was pretty decent. The one that I, mean, I have yet to watch the one that's on Nickelodeon though, but I, I saw I, I saw the movie. Okay. The movie was good. The movie I thought was really good. The movie scares me. Like, I haven't seen it, but the character designs scare me. I don't... It actually came out really good, honestly. I Really? I was kind of skeptical at first, and the yeah. good thing is... The good thing is they are not aliens. That's Like, good. they were playing on... I mean, in the original comic strip, if you actually go back and look at it, they're actually aliens in the I original. thought they were, like, radioactive turtles. Like, they Ooh. got messed up in nuclear or something or other. Something like that. So anyway, so here's today's Mad Lib. Today's Mad Lib is how to become a Jedi Knight. You spell stu- you, or you spell doofus wrong. Whatever. Only one S. Whatever. So here's today's Mad Lib. Want to be a Jedi doofus? <laughs> Follow these smelly steps. One, find a Jedi Master. In order to become an ugly Jedi, a young Padawan, or Jedi Apprentice, Needs to learn from someone who has idiotically mastered his or her training. Well, Perhaps master not slappy, if available. <laughs> Number two. Study the ways of the Force. It takes a lot of short patience and belief in the nugs around you. <laughs> but the Padawan must understand the, first, the Force before he or she can really practice the ways of the Jedi. But... The ways of the Jedi bot. Number three. Make your own light traitor. Oh, that actually kind of makes sense. <laughs> kind of does. 
Kind of Find sad. special eyebrows to place on your lightsabers insecurely. <laughs> Insecurity. Then commune with the force and make it leave. <laughs> Listen. Get out! Get out! Get out of my light trainer! Get to the chopper! <laughs> Listen lazily, finally, and most. Crap, what was that word again? I don't know. Anyways, we'll just. Most adverbly. That's what it was. Ad no, that's not what it was. I just I just used that as a placeholder. That's fine. <laughs> Do as the oldest and wiser Jedi mice tell you. <laughs> even if you even if they know you you to run clumsily. You spelled clumsily wrong too. Whatever! It's with a C! Ah. You have no excuse because your first language was English. No, my first language was Spanish. You're lying. No, I'm not. And how come you can never say anything in Spanish? Don't judge me. But did you just, like, forget everything? Kind of. It's okay. Shame on you. What's funny is, like I said, my parents always spoke Spanish in front of me. You'd think I would catch on, but no, most of the time, they would talk to each other in Spanish when they, didn't, when they were talking about stuff that they didn't want me to know, like birthday presents and whatnot. Oh, that is so mean. Well, not if it's, like, for surprises or stuff, but, like, I, I've just had people at school who speak Spanish when they're talking crap about people who don't know Spanish. Really? Yeah. I believe it. So. I used to ha I used to deal with that stuff daily too. I get it. High school, not fun. No, I hated high school. As hard as it was. Worst twelve years of my life. What? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> did you but realize? Anyways, so did you realize that? Yeah, I know. I totally, I totally caught what you said. I'm just messing with you. Yeah. 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 Anyways, Emma. Huh? Oh, okay. So I'm make sure here. you. I just want to make sure you're there. I mean, you're you're physically here, but apparently your brain is not. Uh, I cannot brain today. I has the dumb. <laughs> oh man, that's not good. Anyways, but um, moving on. I was gonna say, uh, speaking of Saturday morning cartoons, um, this past weekend was actually. Um, the, the end of an era, pretty much. Uh, the last show, the last channel that was doing Saturday morning cartoons officially had its last run. Saturday morning cartoons, meaning like just yeah, like st stations cartoon that, or car yeah, cartoon shows. Like um, the last one that was running was actually Vortex on uh, WB. Uh, they actually, hang on a second. I mean, because ABC, ABC and all of them don't do Saturday morning cartoons anymore. You actually, you know, you know, kids these days now do social media now. And, of course, you know, they try to find... Ugh. You'll get healthy this way, at least. Huh, I've already lost a ton of weight. No, seriously, this shirt is a large and normally I can... No, I know. I mean, that was a good thumbs oh, up. That oh, was sarcastic. Okay, okay I just want to make sure. I'm sorry. That sounded sar that looked sarcastic. It didn't sound sarcastic, but it's it okay. had no. I forgive you. Uh, it's okay. I'm not I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be. Everything's okay. gonna be just great. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah. So yeah. So Vortex, which is the last like channel or like the last show that was doing like Saturday morning cartoons, is had its last run on Saturday. So they no longer showing card. They were showing anything like reruns, like Dragon Ball Z and a couple of other shows and stuff like that, and Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, the only reason I know is because sometimes they play at the office in the morning when I get there. Anime. Mm-hmm. But anyways, so um, so yeah, that was the last. I mean, they didn't renew their contract with WB, so that was the end of an era, pretty much. The end of Saturday morning cartoons in in the U.S. Of course, when I was a kid, I would get up and watch, like, the shows I would really watch is, like, Power Rangers. Go, which go, is, Power Rangers. Which I still watch as an adult. Don't judge me. Huh, <laughs> nerd. Coming from the one who watches My Little Pony. And Foster Home for Imaginary Friends. Look at my Frankie shirt. Look at it. It's beautiful. That's your custom Frankie yeah, shirt. Yeah, custom Frankie shirt. Yes. So, yes, we're, we're actually starting to get close to the end of our episode here. Can you believe it? We are ending season four already. If we actually renew everybody's contract, we'll be on season five. 
That'll be beautiful. Yes, we'll be. We'll you're run, beautiful. We will run that joke into the ground. The oh, yeah. five one or the you're beautiful one? Both? Yeah. Yeah. We've got a lot of crappy jokes that we like to replay again and again and again here at Lock Time. Yes. It's too bad I got no, uh, never mind. You ain't got no pancake mix? Oh my gosh, I forgot about that one! <laughs> oh my gosh! Holy cow! That was like one of the early episodes of Live Time too. jeez. You ain't got no pancake mix! Yeah, that was all slappy. Did you know that where the original video was filmed, that's where my cousin went to college? Seriously? Yeah. That was um, this guy who went to campus every weekend to preach. And some guy just decided to run up in the middle of him and, like, yell at him. Yeah. You ain't got no pancake mix! There's no pancake mix in there! <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Gosh, I can't, you know, again, I can't believe we're, we're about five minutes left before the this episode's officially over. Five minutes left. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's five. That's five. <laughs> Sorry, checking all social media again. He's texting. I'm not texting! You are texting. I'm not texting. I'm not texting. What was that? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh yeah, we were gonna that. answer audience questions. Hi guys. Um. Oops. Let me actually pull up the questions that were put on the Facebook page. Yeah. And in the meantime, maybe if we have time, we can answer stuff you put in the chat room. So go ahead and ask stuff. Uh, it's gonna be by the time they get to. By the time it. Ah, by the time it updates. Oh yeah. Dumb lag. That never used to be a problem. What happened? Hang on a second here. Looking, looking. No. Oh, there it is. Oh. All right. Wait, did you ask it? Oh, wait, that was, let's see here. Let's see some of the questions we got. Okay. If we go into overtime, folks, Let's just do a little overtime for today's yeah. episode. Why Come not? Come on. It's I mean, the, the last only, episode. The only reason we never went to overtime is because Slappy always had something he had to do. He's like, Come on, guys. I'm on a tight schedule. I gotta do the thing at the place. Seems legit. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and answer the first question, which was by a gentleman by the name of Austin. What's it like being Matt the Franchise? I'll answer that one, so... Just kidding. I said just kidding! Oh my goodness. So what's it like being Matt the Franchise? I, I don't know, honestly. It, there's no really way to answer that. I'm just your average guy who likes making videos and just so happens to get Chucky whenever he's at the right time. He's filming him playing, or filming him performing, as we all know. Um, Chris Hill says, Is it okay to eat chicken nuggets on Tuesdays? Tuesday is no nugs Tuesday. No nugs. As I've learned from last week or the week before, whenever I got scolded by Slap because I got Chick Fil A, I can't help it. I would rather. Have, seven times I'm sorry. I here, for the record, I would Chick -fil -A rather. Song, okay. Well, here's the thing. I would rather have Chick Fil A than Taco Crap. I mean Taco Bell. Is that really what the restaurant's called, Taco Crap? Yes, ta I hate Taco Bell. You do? Yes. Okay, most you gotta understand something. Most Mexicans hate Taco Bell because the food they serve in there is not authentic Mexican food. Yeah, it was never marketed as it authentic. Was mer it's American Mexican food. Exactly! It was never marketed as authentic Mexican food. It is marketed as junky American food fake Mexican food, and that's why I like it, because I'm a junkie, fake American Mexican. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Again, I know your brain's not hearing, that's okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> let's see. Um, VJ Hicks asks, why did the chicken cross the road? I actually know the answer to that one. So... You know how the answer is to get to the other side, but... Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. So, there's actually a deeper meaning behind it, because, like, you know, to get to the other side, to get to 
heaven because he was going to die because he's going to get hit by a car. So I found that out wow. not too long ago, and that's a really depressing meaning to that joke. Yes, it is. Jeffrey oh, yeah. says, can this question be on the show? Yes. Yes. Congratulations. Speaking of chickens, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Both. It was a simultaneous creation. Yes. I mean, have you read that story about when the dude upstairs made the world? I mean, everything was made at once. He was just like, bam, when he made all the animals. Seven days. Within I know, seven days. I know, I know, but... He made all the animals just like that. He was just like, boom, animals, woo. There you go. So, I mean, it, it was simultaneous. Here's a question, another question from BJ. Why do we never see Matt and Chuck E. Cheese in the same room together? Because Matt has irritable bowel syndrome. Yeah. It's a real, it's a real thing. It's a real thing, people. Not fun. No, it's not. It's terrible. You have no idea. Uh, Matt, what? Okay, this is from the chat room here. Um, what would you like to see Chuck E. Cheese add to in your store? Uh, well, you mean game wise? If it's game wise, then I would say that would be cool if they brought back a cool game like Memory Match or something, like updated with modern stuff. Maybe do like old school skee ball games too. Ooh. It like has skee- those, and those are pretty skee- awesome. Skee ball is my favorite, it's like the best. Um, a young lady by the name of Joan asks. Will you find a replacement for Slappy? I think we already have. This is our new friend, Mr. Screwdriver. Captain Screwdriver, actually. He is our replacement Slappy. Uh, yeah, you know, as a matter of fact, it does kind of look like Slappy. It's short. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hold it's, him upside down. It's uh, short and uh, has a big head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nice one. My pants keep falling down. I keep having to pull them up. Okay, this let's see. This belt is not working. All right. I think that pretty much covers all the questions here. Oh, wait. I know. Ah! He can't phone. even phone. He can't even phone. Okay, why does Matt never time his bathroom break so he can watch the shows? Again, irritable bell syndrome. It exactly. strikes whenever. For some reason, right when I hear the, the, the countdown break music, all of a sudden my stomach just... Dies. Starts hurting. As soon as my, as soon as I hear, then I just like my stomach just starts to hurt. So yeah, that answers that question pretty much. Thank you, Brandon. So I got your, I got your question all taken care of there, yeah. buddy. <laughs> Taco smell. Hey, there's another cool name for it. Anyways. Someone okay. says, is there going to be an And Emma spinoff? Well, that will just be up to whether I can find time in the schedule because, honestly, I'm really busy right now. I've got um, an online class, and I've got the, these really rigorous classes right now. Luckily, after this quarter, I will be out of one of them because it's only a one-quarter course, but it's still going to be really crazy, so I don't even know. If not, I mean, we may try I mean, to I'll, we may try to do something for like holiday. Yeah, maybe, maybe some bonus footage. Maybe we'll so do. We'll we're gonna we'll see we, what works out. We'll just we're gonna discuss you know after the show's over what maybe we'll plan on doing as like specials like within um, yeah the like off season. We'll, we'll just see what we can work out. So yeah, we'll we'll make something work out though. Maybe yeah. For goodness sake, I mean, if you guys really want more of us, you know, you can always go check exactly. out the show. Go check out the replay on YouTube also. Yeah, we have which of course a this bunch of old videos up on YouTube. and you Everything everything will be live. You know, All of our stuff will be live here in just a moment. Actually, I'm going to need to go ahead and uh, make public the, uh, what's it called? The I don't know. Oh, yeah, and also a pretty cool thing is that uh, on the Chuck E. Cheese YouTube channel, they just released two new videos on there. Um, One of Chuck E. performing Them Bones, which is the new live show that's going to be playing in stores, actually, this starting tomorrow. And then also there's going to be one. There's going to be a... uh, Sorry, I got carried away. That's okay. There was also one where they're uh, doing Chuck E. Says also. Man, I would have... The funny thing, well, here's the irony of that. I was there that day. But again, like always, 
I was stuck in the bathroom, and I couldn't watch the performances. So such a shame. Every time, it's never fails. A shame. It's just a shame. That's all. Okay. That worked, didn't it? Though. It did actually. Yeah. It did. It did. I'm gonna put on this bottle. I'm gonna put the actually bottle. That's what I need to do next for next season. That's amazing. Ugh. You're gonna start that again, really? Maybe. No, do not. Why? Because I said. That's amazing. The all my. <laughs> all righty. I think we're finally getting to that point here. I think where it's time when we need to go ahead and sign off. So let's go ahead and do that. Off into the sunset. We are going to be. We want to thank you guys again for watching this season of Live Time, season four. Thank you we for watching Live Time, and thank you for not eating nuggets on Tuesdays. Yes, we want to thank you guys again for always tuning in and being loyal to us and watching us whenever we can. We do apologize that. Uh, we missed a couple, you know, episodes in between and whatnot, but things were just crazy this season, and it was yes. beyond our control. But we did our best to deliver as much content to you as we possibly could. Absolutely. So, on behalf of myself and everybody else here at Live Time, we want to thank you guys for tuning in and keep watching us. Thank you again for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you guys hopefully soon. If you leave the like on our YouTube pages or something, we'll love you forever. Yeah, exactly. And um. Don't steal our stuff. Copyright 2014 Franchise Entertainment. And That's right. And if you steal our stuff, we'll come after you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. We'll see you guys again soon. Thanks again for tuning in for another season of Live Time. We'll see you guys later. See you all next season. Bye-bye.